hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session the epic traders market recap in today's session I'm going to be covering a lot of information we're going to be discussing time frames the best time frames that I recommend for day trading and swing trading we're going to be looking at some ideas that I have for you on trailing stops how to hit that home run and maximize your returns on a trade and a whole lot more so as always my recordings are raw real and unedited I don't have a script that I run to except a few slides and we are going to be going to the charts uh, as well so as you know I always recommend that you take notes and just don't use a notepad uh, what you end up with if you take notes you end up with uh, sheets of paper everywhere you want a spiral binder and that way you can catalog all of your notes over a period of time as we get underway also I do need to mention this and bring this up just that one idea may change your trading career whether you agree with something I might say or disagree or have no opinion at all I want you to ask the right questions because as we know what we focus on and what we think about will change our life um, many of you may remember Earl Nightingale well <laughs> maybe the younger traders won't Earl Nightingale was a famous uh, radio announcer in the 50s in the US and he actually uh, released the very first motivational record it was a record back then we didn't have tapes we didn't have CDs and he called it the strangest secret and what he did was during his radio career it was very much a talkback show as well he interviewed hundreds of people over a period of time and what he come up with was what he classified was the real secret to someone achieving success in whatever endeavor they were involved in and he called it the strangest secret and the strangest secret come down to one thing and this is what he called his first record we become what we think about the strangest secret is we become what we think about so remember when it comes to really mastering the art of day trading learning um, how to master the art of, of also day and swing trading I should say we need to be asking ourselves intelligent empowering questions such as what can I learn from this how can I use this what's great about this and in fact in episode 4 I'm going to be um, covering some trading ideas that I have from a gentleman called Trader Vic Trader Vic released his book uh, I think it was back in 1991 now and it's called methods of a Wall Street master and I was actually reviewing uh, his book only yesterday preparing for session 4 episode 4 and I noticed at the back of the book he actually gets right into um, and discusses a lot of a great strategy so when I get say gets into he gets into from a positive point of view some of the techniques of neuro-linguistic programming and Tony Robbins and I'd forgotten about this I hadn't read the book for, for many years so um, and Tony Robbins talks a lot about compelling questions using intelligent questions which is really important sorry traders we just had a quick break then my dog was going crazy so back onto this so Tony Robbins discusses and uh, in his books a great deal about using and asking yourself compelling empowering questions so the questions I want you to I really want you to write this down so and if you approach really learning how to master the art of day trading with this approach what can I learn from this how can I use this what's great about this remember just that one idea may make a massive difference to your trading career so as we get underway understanding the risk for members you've actually uh, you see this on every one of my videos if you're a new subscriber to my channel or watching my videos for the first time please um, uh, pause the video and read the disclaimer if you haven't already subscribed just a very very quick advertisement if you haven't already subscribed uh, to my channel or obtain my free day trading book you can download the link it's in the description below on YouTube here I also have a free training manual and of course visit my website for $197 you receive all of my setups there's literally hundreds of videos now I think there's over 300 videos in my training program there's just a ton of stuff in the program and as we get underway there I do need to bring up one more thing for existing members this is aimed for brand new members and even perhaps some of my and I have uh, there's close to 2,000 members around the world now so very very quickly I'm recording 
uh, my Q&A sessions every week and they're in the folder on my Google Drive under new recordings so they're under new recordings now also for new members do not forget there's literally hundreds of resources now on my Google Drive so some members are getting lost so if you go to um, uh, this folder Google Drive sorting there's a little document there a PDF which you can download which will show you how to sort all of the resources on my Google Drive by date but please remember that I put latest recordings in their new recordings and remember we've got there the strategy PowerPoint folder the cheat sheet folder and new member downloads so for all the downloads uh, for brand new members yes you can take it from the members area but all of those uh, resources are also in the new members downloads okay so let's now get on with this so I just want to uh, briefly talk about the power of focus and this comes up regularly and uh, if not daily from my members where do we start as a trader well what I want to talk about is really so many traders are attempting to trade too many setups I teach now close to 15 setups but as I say to all new members and to the general public whether you uh, have got the day traders fast track program or not very very important that you start with just a couple of setups and you master them you want to um, uh, you want to own those setups before we move on now this is an email from uh, one of my members um, I call him uh, Seattle Dave and this is an email from last Friday where he said he scalped his way to plus 67 and this was on CL with 34 B's and a few other bounces uh, in concert with the 34 it's a strategy that we have and it's a key strategy and it works brilliantly on all markets and all time frames and with that it leads into something that I want to say and, and bring up and that is something out of Mark Douglas's book the discipline trader now if you don't own Mark Douglas's book the discipline trader it is probably the number one book that every trader should have in their library now I want to quote out of page 209 and up there he says here to become an expert choose one simple system that identifies a pattern preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical so you'll be working with a visual representation of market behavior traders as day and swing traders um, we really are in the business of pattern recognition and that's what we do and with virtually every one of my setups there are uh, um, they're, they're, they're patterns they're geometric patterns that appear in the markets each and every day but if you're not consistently profitable as a trader or if you're mastering or learning how to trade uh, from day one very very important just get a couple of patterns and go back over the charts over hundreds of trades and master those before you move on and of course as you hear me say in every recording please put counter trend trading aside until you master how to trade with the train this is very very important traders absolutely critical because I'm still seeing uh, traders become what I call overwhelmed so the next thing I want to bring up is timing and this comes from a, a, a new member just in the last week and they said I'm currently working full-time while I master the art of day trading and can only trade when I get home after 6 p.m. Eastern standards uh, Eastern Standard Time what markets would you recommend I consider trading well this is really a common question is just full stop on what markets do I recommend well I'm not I don't like trading a range bound market I like a trending market as most successful traders do so uh, after 6 p.m. Eastern Standard and you can use this rule for any market because if we look at uh, futures trading now with most contracts they trade uh, 23 hours a day Forex is basically 24 hours a day five days a week so I love uh, trading particularly the CME contracts or the futures contracts so the euro for an example if we look at the euro um, uh, which is at six dollars 25 a tick or a point we see fantastic volumes and the euro is a CME contract that comes out you're paying on average around four dollars odd in commissions uh, on a daily basis it's the number one traded um, currency contract 
in the market then you've got uh, the yen is another excellent one you've then got the uh, third is the British pound followed by fourth which is the Australian dollar so basically 24 hours a day or 23 hours a day it does close the markets do close uh, the CME for an hour each day the euro the yen is fantastic and then you've got gold the yellow metal gold's another fantastic market yes you might only see a couple of hundred thousand contracts traded a day but even during the Asian the London leading into the New York session you still got some great volume now if you trade with the trend I know gold can be a real wild animal if you trade with the trend you're going to be kept on the right side of ledger most of the time then of course you've got the Forex markets Forex has got one advantage that I call an advantage is you can get started with well under four or five thousand dollars you can start trading with a mini or a micro account as you build your skill level now during the London session during the Asian session CL or black gold oil can be quite slow but once you get into London uh, which is 5 p.m. onwards Australian time and uh, very early uh, uh, Eastern Standard Time CL picks up and then you've got a market like the euro stock X 50 which the ticker code on a trade station is FESX um, question mark because the trading ranges can be a bit iffy at times so there are some fantastic markets the euro the yen gold and Forex that you can be trading and so it doesn't matter where you are in the world if you are working just look at those markets they're basically 24 hour a day markets with some great volumes now the next thing I wanted to cover here is becoming is being distracted uh, and as traders we can go through long periods and we can become bored it's very very easy as a day trader particularly if you're waiting for the right setup to become bored and so when we become distracted uh, uh, you make mistakes so there's a number of very important steps or rules that we need to confirm when we trade that is we need to uh, make sure that we're refocusing now I tend to find that I can uh, and in my uh, uh, office I've got uh, a TV so I'll watch a movie I'll actually have a movie on at times I find for an example I can easily have the TV going in the background maybe with the news or whatever on uh, a lot easier to be doing that when I'm trading than reading if I'm into a book oh, that tends to really defocus me so having a TV but anyway every now and then I need to go back and check my checklist now we need to consider ourselves as pilots that is we need to um, for example if you're a pilot uh, you're not allowed to talk about anything in the cockpit until you're above 10,000 feet so once you get in the cockpit uh, once you start going through your uh, flight plan etc in your checklist you're not allowed to talk about oh how's your weekend oh I went to a party Saturday night until you're above and once you take off about 10,000 feet there's some strict rules why they want to keep you focused so very very important that as traders we refocus and and learn to refocus because otherwise this is where we make mistakes so I'm just going to quickly go through a very brief trading plan with you and this is not complete uh, some things I've taken out because they're proprietary to the day traders fast track program but I think you'll get the general drift so first of all and I know you might have already seen this so I've got my trading rules and my checklist in plastic sleeve folders on the right there I've got my trading journal where I take notes as I trade uh, I've got some some of the uh, patterns I might look at uh, on the left there but the middle one has got my trading rules I'll highlight it I'll put post notes on key points etc so consider yourself a pilot review focus review focus and so even if you're watching TV just look back at your checklist regularly and go through it so this is a sample one very very quickly and at the top there and of course this is not the uh, PDF that I'd or the word document I'd use I've just taken part of it and put on a slide here but trade entry checklist what is your target um, per day now uh, you might have a little statement at the top this one here is I hold myself responsible for a higher standard than anyone expects from me that's really important to me as a trader because um, we really need to be following our rules 110 percent but so whatever works for you so very quickly have I checked for red flags that's red flags uh, red flag news announcement uh, 
what's really important for me is have I plotted on my chart the previous days high and low of the market that I'm trading have I turned alerts on now I've got uh, alerts on some of my key setups that I'll turn on but at other times I'll turn them off if I'm uh, if it's say a quiet trading time I might have the alert on just to alert me when I do have a setup on the other hand in a busy time I'll turn them off because otherwise I'll be going off all the time and driving me crazy do I have a sweet spot uh, members you know what the sweet spot is uh, has the candle closed in my trade direction now this is very very important as a day trader I want to see a candle close in the top one-third or the lower one-third if I'm shorting the top of, sorry the top of the top one-third of the candle if I'm going long does the ATR stop and flip confirm um, uh, slip on the on the EC which is the entry chart confirm the trade does the ATR stop and flip on the anchor chart confirm the trade now that's if you're using an ATR uh, do I have a trending 34 on both do I have a fanning and trending EMA so there's a whole lot of things here and then I get to my setups do I have a trade master 2 do I have a t1 do I have a t2 so these are codes for some of my best setups do I have a t25 in a strong trending market and I'm reminding myself I'm looking for a strong trendy market to have an 89 B etc so um, some of the other things I want to remind myself I do not trade into major EMAs uh, which is usually a counter trend trade or a change in market direction because with the major EMAs we usually get a bounce uh, where are the pivots or other support resistance areas or levels we want to know where the floor pivots are because time and time again we get a bounce do I have a t7 counter trend trade does the long-term stochastic confirm trial my stop equals larger targets which we're going to be looking at today in a moment do I have angulation etc 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 now as I mentioned this is not complete and just some ideas on some of the trading that I do that just you may, you may find it really useful but it's very very important that you and I know you already know this and by the way just listening to the stuff I'm talking about experienced traders it's sometimes good to be reminded of some of the stuff we know we may have temporarily forgotten so you may have uh, and you know you want to have a really comprehensive list and just be reviewing it I know there's a lot of points here but there are really there's a lot of little steps in successful trading so it's very very important that you review them now moving on I want to quickly talk about fib numbers and chart settings now I have hundreds of videos now on YouTube and hundreds of video videos that are run exclusively for members only and in a lot of my earlier videos you'll see I'll use um, uh, non fib numbers like on the NQ I love the 133 tick now over the years I've got so many members now that uh, more and more globally are into fib numbers Fibonacci numbers now if I was to trade for an example a 133 tick chart compared to a 144 as a day trader would it make any difference I seriously doubt it if I was to trade a 150 over a 144 or even a 200 over a 233 I don't believe it'll make much of a difference however it's you know we can look at it this way that almost becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy because we've got so many traders now that believe or use fib numbers on their chart type so basically on almost all of my chart charts except for the ES where I'll use a 550 tick I'll use a fib number whether you're using a range chart or um, uh, whether you're using a tick or a volume you can even consider it if you're using a time-based charts but that's slightly different so uh, for day trading traders if I'm trading the NQ during the New York session I really like the 144 tick uh, on the black gold on CL I like the 233 on ES during New York I like the 550 you might round it up to a 610 on the ES uh, in quiet times you might drop down the way 233 but when it comes to time frames that you trade with the time frame you use really comes down to uh, what sort of trader are you and how comfortable are you with the time frame that you're trading 
for an example I don't like trading really fast moving markets I'll stand aside it just doesn't work for me all right I like to perhaps take a few more seconds and in, in thinking and placing my uh, my trade etc uh, so a 144 tick um, a chart on the CL on the black gold is too far too fast for me during New York 233 um, is much better and at times you almost need a 377 so find a time frame that suits you uh, you still got uh, a lot of traders will trade time-based charts and you might use a one minute for maybe your entries with a three minute or even a five minute for your anchor chart and maybe referring up to a 15 minute for a longer term view so of course I don't want to neglect those that like their time based charts but a three to a five minute is probably the happy medium uh, if you're using a time based chart so I just wanted to briefly cover that now for members in my program you'll actually just as a reminder there's a PDF in the new member downloads on my preferred time frames and there's a link to a recording specifically on that but it comes down in the end to what you feel comfortable with now let's go to the charts because I want to talk about in the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes here I want to talk about how to catch a runner uh, as a trader that is what are some of the things that you can be doing now my goal uh, is to improve my targets that is I've been a scalper for so many years that I'm in and out in and out in and out does that this is that necessarily the right thing to be doing well not always and not really because in other words I quite often leave some really good profits on the table because I got out of a move that is say on CL I just use that as an example I might have targeted five to eight ticks but then it runs on for a 20 tick move so what are some of the things that we can be doing to capture that on say the NQ which we're looking at now by the way uh, and you can't see it it's cut off on the left there this is the NQ 144 tick and my anchor chart is a 377 once again a time frame of approximately three times higher and both the fib numbers now what I have here is I've got my series of EMAs for my trend direction um, I won't go into the stochastics and the, the MACDs and how we trade with those but the key things I wanted to really look at the blue line is what I call the trigger line and as long as uh, there are a couple of things we can do here it's rather sensitive the way it's set if I make it less sensitive I'll keep more price action so once I get into a move and I might have what we call a t25 here so I enter the move enter the trade uh, and I can go for a fixed target or if I want to trail my stop I can trail by pulling up my trade once I hit an initial uh, target keep my stop two two candles below or, or trailing two candles behind this fits just a ton of ideas when it comes to trailing but we can use the trigger line and as long as we're above the trigger line we stay in a trade now you can see here we would have been stopped out here and here if we get a close on or below the trigger line now you can make it less sensitive which will mean um, for an example with our brown line here which is a 21 with the 21 you could use for an example but you'll find it's perhaps a little too longer length but there's one thing I wanted to quickly bring up which is really important which works beautifully is an ATR so the white dots here and the blue dots here is what we call an ATR stop and flip so as long as I'm above the ATR we, we stay in the trade so here I had a entry here on a t20 uh, this is also a 34b pivot bounce uh, it's also a t25 so we've got a couple and traders as you know you can see you've got a number of t2 so let's just say here let's just take this one here we've got a t2 trade right here so here's our t2 so we would have stayed in this trade all the way up to here now if your goal is as I had on the cheat sheet there a minimum of $300 a day per contract you trade if you go and achieve $105 and remember the NQ works on uh, $5 ticks or increments that's 21 ticks and that's $105 three of those a day you've hit your profit target for the day we we're not going to start going into profit targets right now but just as an example here I'm saying you've hit your target so three of those moves a day 
or what I call home runs you were there let's go and have a look at the yen now the yen is uh, and for those that are unaware the yen contract you've of course got the cash market the Forex market or you've got the yen you can trade with this CME now the tick value with the CME is six dollars twenty five so if you're uh, say if you target say 12 ticks at $75 or if you target 17 ticks as you'll get on some of these moves 17 ticks is and I'm just using this as a as a hypothetical figure at the moment but 17 ticks is $106.25 take away commissions and you've netted $100 plus because one of the intelligent questions to ask is how can I improve my entries how can I improve my targets and profitability profitability each day now by the way on the questions that I'm asking can you hear the um, presupposition I'm using here how can I improve I'm assuming I can approve all right so once again it's a compelling open question rather than why do I stuff this up why do I always get out too early that's disempowering I'm using compelling questions here but back on this uh, we can see here I've got a great um, we call this a bet the farm trade by the way uh, so I've got uh, some nice divergence I've got a t7 so for members watching this here is a classic bet the farm uh, I better just say this uh, for those that are watching this video when we say bet the farm you still maintain your risk reward and very very important that you um, obey your money management uh, rules but bet the farms are a very very accurate high probability trade and they work brilliantly and virtually every market we day trade we'll usually see between two and six of these a day on that market just depending on which one you mark you're trading and just coincidentally I just noticed that here um, there is a bet the farm so we've got both the pivot bounce we've got a t7 we've got our classic um, uh, smeating all the conditions there of a bet the farm look at um, our anchor chart we've got beautiful fanning of the EMAs on both time frames it's a bet the farm so using the ATR the ATR kept me in all the way down to here okay now you can also use if you don't have uh, the ATR now the ATR stop and flip I only actually have for um, for trade station for my members so I'll and by the way if you uh, use another platform I'm happy to give you the settings that I use for the ATR um, stop and flip or even the code so if you contact me I'm quite happy to share the code with you so you can program it yourself um, that's for members of course uh, or you've got the trigger line you can just adjust the trigger line where it's not so sensitive and that will keep you in but what it allows you to do is to capture some of these major moves if we go and have a look at CL so we're looking at the black gold here now now with um, uh, CL it's ten dollars a tick and as as uh, the yellow metal is gold it's ten dollars a tick you go and pick up some of these moves here and you've just picked up hundred hundred and twenty hundred and forty dollars and uh, per contract you trade and how do you stay in by using the trigger line now what you might do here is say if you're trading two contracts or multiple contracts you still might scalp because we also know you're going to have periods like this where you're, it's very very choppy right where well, you still might scalp out on your first contract or your first uh, number of contracts your fixed target but let your second targets run and particularly when we look over here and we say oh by the way here's just just notice the trade here that I've taken you can see it there this is typical of me where I've scalped the market and that was for five ticks on two contracts there as I was trading now but look at the move that I missed out on and this is what I'm working on uh, personally as a trader and just on this point um, this is where it comes back to developing habits and you hear me on my recordings and in my videos talk a great deal about developing the right habits and using the simulator so as an example if you're a brand new trader using the simulator you've got to use a simulator as if you're trading with real money likewise if you start scalping and you've been doing it for years and of course many traders like myself that's all we do is scalp but getting back to this thing we 
leave on the table a lot of these major moves and in my training room I was only um, discussing this the last couple of days with uh, some of my members is this is my um, uh, major objective is to dramatically improve my bottom line is to be after five six hundred dollars a day per contract how do I do that or how do I make my trading life easier is have larger targets and we can do that by understanding sweet spot trading uh, and targeting now we also know traders for experienced traders we know that in a very fast moving market and we know that gold can do this uh, of course the currencies can do it and CL can do it it can move very very quickly and that's when you're trading down what I recommend is so say if your target uh, is normally say eight ticks adjust it where if you do get a flyer or a market that takes off like a rocket um, have it set to um, say 15 ticks you can always drag it back reduce your target but set a higher target because at times as we know with some of these incredible moves you see this all sometimes it's over within seconds uh, and even if we look at this move right here traders we look down at oh you can't see it actually on the, on the recording here but this particular move uh, this started at um, where is here that started at uh, 94103 and it was over 94240 so it happened well there you had a little more time but sometimes these moves are over within minutes so it sets you can always drag it back your target but I don't want to labor the point here traders but I just wanted to really encourage you to consider um, targeting on your second contract or higher some larger profit targets because I'm sick of leaving so much profits um, uh, so much on the table and particularly where my personal objective is to increase my bottom line so traders that's the end of episode 3 we've covered a great deal of information so as I close off I just want to reinforce once again traders you've got to become a student of the market no matter what you if you go and watch other YouTube videos or if you uh, read someone's book on trading um, if you go back and read an article um, approach it with a winning attitude of what can I learn from this how can I use this how can I improve um, my trade entries how can I improve my exits and in uh, episode 4 will probably and if I remember this I'm going to just talk about some of the other questions that you should be asking because I promise you if you approach trading with this approach um, uh, it'll make a massive difference to how quickly you master the art of trading uh, your general attitude because you've got to remember traders that trading truly is 90% head stuff so traders I hope you picked up a couple of ideas in this session if you don't already have my ebooks once again subscribe to my channel visit my site even better still become a member of the day traders fast track program for $197 you get everything there's no upsell there's no coaching programs to buy that is it it's the um, it's just you know as someone once said to me recently it's a ten thousand dollar program for a hundred and ninety seven dollars so I hope to see you as a member drop me an email look forward to having you as a member and episode four I look forward to um, seeing you on that one thank you